Hey Stringies, how are you all doing today? So I've been contemplating lately about a lot of stuff to be honest and I'm giving you a heads up now this is probably going to be a long video so brace yourselves. But first a quick update on what I've been working on lately. I'm finishing up my 12 track Deltarune album and it's sounding great so far. I've invited a lot more guest musicians this time and I'm just so excited for you to finally hear it when it's finished. And if you missed my past announcements, I recently launched a second YouTube channel called Video Game Music Box. It's my side project for video game music arranged in a music box style. And so far, I've released 11 albums under Video Game Music Box and they're available in all digital stores, including Spotify. Now, on to the topic at hand. Let's talk about Facebook and YouTube's algorithms. One thing I could say is that these algorithms, they're always changing. And from my experience, I think I'll focus more on me. Now, let me explain what I meant by focusing on me. Um, I'm the type of person who gets burnt out easily if I overstress or overexert effort in one project. Doesn't matter if it's something that I love doing, like music, or if it's another type of project whatsoever. But I do have my limits, and I constantly have to recharge every now and then. And one advice that I got in the past was, Oh, you have to upload videos almost every day so that the YouTube algorithm pushes you to your fans. And then, an alternate advice I got was like, no, you have to focus on longer videos. You have to focus on hour-long videos. And with my type of content, that's just almost impossible unless I'm doing vlog-style videos like this, like, until the end of time. And that's not my thing, really. And that's why I've been contemplating. I've been uh, regrouping or recharging, so to speak, or soul-searching, if you prefer that term. But uh, lately, I've decided that I will focus more on what excites me. Because if I force myself to do something just because everyone does it, just because it's the trendy thing or it's popular right now, it doesn't mean that I will enjoy focusing on that. Yes, sometimes what's popular and what I enjoy, they do align sometimes, but I can't always hope that such a thing happens. So I've decided I'll just focus on what I'm really good at. Number one is making high quality covers for my enjoyment and for your enjoyment. Because that's really the original reason why I started making YouTube videos. I want to hear my favorite video game music arranged in the style of music that interests me. And what are examples of this music? I'm a 90s kid, so I grew up listening to grunge music like Nirvana, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden. But also, since my family is a family of musicians and artists, I was exposed at a young age to classical music. So that's also pretty much ingrained in my blood music from Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, and of course, uh, I love watching movies. I'm a movie buff. Naturally, I love John Williams, Hans Zimmer, and it's also a big reason of why I became a film composer in the first place. And if you're only hearing now that I'm also a film composer, I have an IMDB link in the description below for you to check out. So yeah, that's number one. I'm going to focus on quality covers of the music that I enjoy. And being the nerd that I am, being the nerds ourselves, I'm pretty sure you'll find something to enjoy in what I have to offer. And number two, upload schedules. I really tested a lot of uploading patterns, uploading schedules, timetables that work for me, and timetables that uh, also work for you. But mostly since I'm the one creating, I'm mostly looking out for my myself because I like to watch my health. I'm not growing any younger so I want to focus on keeping my health at bay. I don't want to spend too many sleepless nights being a workaholic because lately I've started to value more and more my downtime because everyone's got to chill man and so do I. So how does this translate to an upload schedule? Come on SPG, cut to the chase already. <laughs> 
<laughs> I told you it's gonna be a long video. So what I'm trying to say is I tried the weekly schedule, it worked short term, but in my opinion, in my perspective, the quality faltered the more regular I go. So I don't prefer that method. I also try the upload whenever I feel like it method, but I also saw that um, my stats died really, really badly <laughs> because of that method. But I did notice some other channels do employ a seasonal uploading schedule. And I've noticed this in other video game channels like, for example, uh, Smooth McGrews or uh, Epic Rap Battles of History. They don't really upload videos like every week religiously. Maybe they used to. I know Smooth McGroove used to do that, but I guess he also had some sort of uh, epiphany. That's why he changed his habits. And he's actually a really cool guy in person. I got to meet him during MAGFest 2019. Um, but that's another story for another day. And so I think I'm going to do a seasonal schedule. So how does this affect the actual music that will come with these seasonal uploads? Okay, I found a simple solution that works for me and I've done a lot of research about this. Um, and on a side note, I'm actually back to school right now. I've enrolled in a 10-week online course focusing on business skills for online musicians. And that's currently where I am right now. I'm in a level where I would consider myself a successful YouTuber, a successful musician online, but I've hit a peak of sorts and going back to school to take this course is I believe the right direction so I will break from that plateau. And uh, the course is from Savvy Musician Academy if you're interested. I'll put a link down below if you want to look it up. And back to the topic, so here comes point number three. What is that musical format where bands or musical artists do where they release a set of songs, like a seasonal release where it already has a common theme, a common style, and for video game music, probably a common franchise. I wonder if such a format was already invented. Hmm. So anyway, I'll be focusing more on album releases. I'll probably still upload the occasional outlier of a song choice here and there, but based on my research and data from other music professionals who are also invested in this field, video game music releases that focus on one particular game title or game franchise is usually more successful financially and critically. And I've noticed that when I launched my Pluckhead album, it's gotten a lot of press. And my Undertale Strings of Determination album, a humongous 46 song album if you haven't heard of it. And it's paid my bills really, to be honest. And instead of albums where it's like a compilation of songs from 20 different games, it's kind of harder to market those kinds of albums, I've realized. And also in relation to that, a business decision to be honest. Digital music used to be consumed more as digital downloads from iTunes. But there has been a big shift lately to more streaming music. And I guess that a big reason for this, I suppose, is because fast internet is now readily available everywhere. So it's easier to stream music without needing to download it. So that's also a big reason, I believe, why Spotify is so successful now and why Apple invented Apple Music just to compete with that. Because there used to be iTunes where it's only just digital downloads. But now everyone's just listening to music via streaming. And Spotify is really where the album format and the playlist format really shines. And those have been doing really well for me. So I decided I'm going to adapt to the situation and go to that direction more. Which brings me back to YouTube. I don't really want to release subpar quality videos anymore. Maybe in my old videos, they used to be like, oh, this will do, this will do. Let's just upload that and get it over with. But now I believe I want to take more time 
and bringing you quality content. It's hard to compete with an algorithm that always changes and it's ruthless. It's a ruthless algorithm. It's an AI that doesn't really have any human emotions. And I really can't compete with that. But what I can do is bring you the best quality video that I can make for you. And I found that when I take breaks from creating videos or music, that I get excited to get back to it more and more. And I want that. I always want to be excited. Because if I'm not excited, it's definitely gonna be a subpar quality. And I don't want that. I don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. But there is indeed one algorithm that I think I will satisfy, and that is the stringy algorithm. That is the algorithm of your mind, the algorithm of your heart, a human algorithm, an algorithm which I believe has one constant, a love for video game music, a love for high quality musical interpretations of video game music. And I think that one algorithm is never gonna change. It's always gonna be there. And so I will focus on that. I will focus on you. I'll focus on me. I'll focus on us. And I think this is officially the longest time I've talked in front of the camera, but hey, I've got so many things to say to you right now. And so to summarize everything that I've just said, here are again the things I will be focusing on when it comes to the content in my channel. Number one, I'll be focusing more on quality over quantity, the oldest adage on YouTube, because that's really what I prefer. I don't want to skimp on quality just so I can upload every day or every week. And which brings us to number two, I will upload in seasons because it gives me more time to breathe, more time to be excited for making music videos. And lastly, number three, my focus will be geared towards album releases that focus on one particular theme. It could be one particular game title or one particular franchise or one particular theme like boss battles or world map themes. Something to that effect because it usually does well in the business sense. And of course, I'm a full-time musician, so I also have to be minding my own business, which is music, of course. So that's what I have to say. Thank you so much for sticking with me until the end of the video. And let me hear your thoughts. I know some of you might not agree with my decision, but this was really a product of a lot of contemplation, a lot of research, a lot of facts and numbers, and even some math if you believe it. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna do for now. And I still hope you come along for the ride. So yeah, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay awesome, Streets.